Welcome in to uh, Coastal Compass, allegedly a podcast, and we uh, have a great guest from the Eastern Shore Chamber today, Liz Roberts, and we're going to get into that right after this. So, where are you from originally? So I was born in Panama City Beach, Florida, and my parents moved over here probably, you know, when I was very young. My dad came to work for Caterpillar selling heavy equipment, and so I grew up here, though. Went to Daphne High School, the whole nine yards. Okay, so Eastern Shore girl. Yes, absolutely. Um, Daphne went to Auburn, went to SCAD, and I guess I always knew I kind of wanted to come back here, Um, but we, you know, All right, so people who don't know, what is SCAD? Savannah College of Art and Design. I was at the Atlanta campus, and so I have an MFA in photography and my journalism degree from Auburn. And so that was kind of what brought me back here. I worked at a magazine at the beach, and I had interned at the chamber in 2008 when um, Darylin was there, and she needed an event planner and called me. I was working at the beach, and off to the races we went. Um, A funny story. When I came to the chamber, the lady who was ahead of me, she had deleted every single email. Oh, no. And so I got there in July, and this was when the Jubilee Festival was in September. So I had essentially a month and a half to figure it out. Okay. Running blind. All right. So get into a little bit of what you do with the chamber. So I'm the director of tourism and special events. Okay. And so I work, I've recently been appointed to the state tourism department's board of directors. And so I will work with people around the state in a tourism capacity. And then the special events capacity is Jubilee Festival, Mayor's Prayer Breakfast, our annual meeting, set up all the business after hours, Eggs and issues, yep. all the special events, those kind of run through me. All right. So let's kind of go through them. The Jubilee thing, that for us is next week. It is in. Or this weekend. Four days. In four days, <laughs> it's right. In four days. So for whenever this hits, it'll probably be. It won't be this week. It'll be next week. So, <laughs> so perfect. Be, yeah. So they can so find so out about it for four the days next after. Year. For next yeah. year. Perfect. For next year. For next year. Tell us what that is and kind of how I got it started. So we're in our 35th year. Oh, wow. Okay. This will be my 13th Jubilee Festival. And when I first started it, we probably had 75 artists on the streets of downtown Daphne. We've since grown it and we've grown it and we've grown it. Just, you know, it's a fine art juried show. So they apply. You can't just sign up and get a booth. So, you know, we go through a jury process of selecting artists with, you know, local people in the community who know the art scene. And they're like, yes, this is legit. Or no, they got this, you know, they went to market and they bought it and they're trying to pass it off as art. And so after COVID, after Sally, we moved it to Lot Park. And that was a big deal. That was a huge deal. That, That helped you a lot, did it not? It helped us tremendously. Because the artists have a circuit, and Mm -hmm. so you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to move it because people are, I am well aware that is the Alabama-Tennessee game. Right. Uh, Is that that, a big deal? No clue. I mean, maybe a little bit. (laughs) (laughs) I'd like to say that I throw a great committee. So we've got a great, we've got a great committee this year. It's super fun. So after Sally, after COVID, we moved to Lot Park. And that has been a complete game changer in terms of the artists are happier, the patrons are happier. We don't bottleneck downtown Daphne for, you know, two days. So for those that don't know, where is Lock Park? It's in Old Town Daphne. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be north of Mancy's and Dragonfly and City Hall. And so we moved there. The artists love it. We're up to 141 artists this year. So tell me the difference between this and what happens. March. Yeah. the Arts and Crafts. It's the third weekend in March. Uh, So I ran that for a number of years as well. That's a three-day festival. Um, You know, it takes place all in downtown Fairhope, on the streets. 
so it's actually two festivals. I don't know if people are familiar with that. So if you come to Arts and Crafts and you're at the clock, you are in one part of the show. And then at Regions and Wells Fargo, Towards the art center, that's the art center show. So it's actually two festivals. In oh wow, I did not I, know I, that. Yeah, I never yep. knew it. Very interesting. And so, um, is there a difference in the artist? Is there a difference in? We have elevated at the Jubilee Festival our art. Okay, <laughs> you know that sort yeah, of yeah. thing. You know, and so I like to think that we are comparable. But there for a while, Jubilee Festival was more of your weekend warriors, not people who actually worked the art circuit and traveled right. across the South. And quite frankly, you have a, a, a added on to the, the, the artist and have upped your game. And cause when yes. you took it over or, or it was a smaller, it was a smaller festival. kind of festival was, and you have grown it and upgraded the type of art that you were selling there. Absolutely. We have, so there's no doubt okay, about cool. that. Maybe for artists that are interested, get a hold of you. Get Absolutely. A hold of the chamber. Okay. Not, not for this year. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, this was, this again, was in the books. The, yeah, by when the this time comes we out, get through it's with in this the one, it's going to be passed. So, yes. um, so, so definitely, definitely call me um, at the chamber. Our applications go live in May. We jury in July. And then, you know, we're off to the races for Fantastic. Uh, October. Yep. And okay. all this is on Facebook and LinkedIn. It's on Facebook. It's on LinkedIn. It's right. on our website. <clears throat> it's, you know, and so we run our applications through Zapplication which is a, a housing site. Pardon the interruption, but you're watching an unsponsored podcast. Well, not anymore. I'm sponsoring it. Firewatch Entertainment. We do all the video, editing, and production of the podcast you're watching. And we'd love to do the same for you if you're interested in doing a video podcast. It's Firewatch Entertainment. The phone number's right here. Give me a call. We'd love to talk to you. Uh, so oh, let's, let's bring up the business after hours too, because you do a lot with that. And there's no shortage of people who want to have business after hours. To host business after hours, it's like, I equate it to like back in the day, like Ticketmasters when like Brooks and Dunn concert tickets would go on sale and you have to call and call and call. So we do business after hours. We book it just for one year because I could have a wait list. For and years. We used to have a wait list and it would be, you know, just... Well, that was pages long. And so we do an, I do an open enrollment after mayor's prayer breakfast in May and they have to sign up online. Don't call them, even though they still call, <laughs> you know, it, like it's, the phone will be ringing. I'm, and I'll tell Joey and I said, so we can't do it at nine when we open. We got to do it at 10 so I can get in there and get my brain right. <laughs> Cup of coffee. The, yes. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. so the first, well, we have our annual meeting in February. So the first 11 people, like I said, it's just like a concert. That's who gets it. And we do have to use my least favorite F word, be fair. So we have to kind of portion it out between Daphne and Spanish Fort and Fairhope so that, you know, all of oh, our yeah, businesses absolutely. are equally represented. But yes, t hosting business after hours, like I said, it's like getting t concert tickets. Well, that was all right. So, so let, let, first, before, let's go ahead. I mean, some people may not know what business after, hour, after hours is, and it is for chamber members, yep. and they go to a member's office or whatever they the they're first at thursday of the month first thursday of the month and then you host it with food and drink and mm -hmm. it's a great chance to network and have a great time it's we never great, miss them it's a great it's so networking opportunity and you know people over the years have definitely you know it's a it's a thing and it's a big deal because you have so many people wanting to do mm -hmm. it because it is that much of a big deal. Anyway, okay. So well, that was William Stitt. You know, he came on here, uh, and he was talking about when he had it at Billy's, the fact that someone had canceled. Oh, someone had canceled. And he was able to, to jump do in. it, you know, jump in, and he was so excited <laughs> because he's like, you know, it, it could have been years. Absolutely. Before I got it. So he was ecstatic on b being able to host it. And that and was a fun one. It's a good networking opportunity you know, for after hours, we have morning marketing meetings on, yep. um, you know, the third Wednesday or Thursday of the month, I believe. And that's, a, you know, that's a morning thing, but this is a little more social and, you know, it, people enjoy that. So there's also that, uh, but also you've in a similar vibe, you've got the young professionals. We've got YP. And so those are you know, under 40 and ish 
I'm about to age. They out hadn't of, carded me yet. I'm about to age out of that bracket myself. <laughs> we, we we show up and then we just show yeah. up, you yeah. know. So they do. I those, may have to start dyeing my hair a little bit. No. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> they do all the. Um, they do. Their, they have their own board. They have their own group of volunteers, and those are at you know different places. Like it's like a business after hours out of the same vein, but it's you know for under forty ish ish yeah. ish. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had a. Um, we had our the Wafi Summit, and I was there, and uh, t- this is when Tully was still here, and they go that some of the people looked in the back because I didn't recognize any of them. They go, who's the lady back there? And I was like, it ain't me. But they, <laughs> they were like, they did not know who I was. I was like, great. Uh, eggs and issues. Eggs and issues. Yes, we just had it last week. Yep, I'm, I was able to make that mm-hmm. when the Port of Alabama was there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Just the amount of information. That came oh, it's out huge. of that is massive. <laughs> so we try and do something topical. You, you okay. know, it Al Dot we we do one, we try and do one a year that's like a tourism update. We usually do that at the start of summer, you know, EMA. Don't get right. caught in a yeah, hurricane. Yeah. You know, all of that sort of thing. But eggs and issues is great. And that has grown. I can remember when I first got here, the church didn't have the screens. So yep. I would haul in the projector and set it up and we had to have a special table just designated for the projector. Please don't sit there and eat your, your breakfast at it. So yes, it has gone, grown leaps and bounds. No, it was, it was awesome. Y'all got the, the marketing lunches. Network at noon. Also like getting Ticketmaster tickets. Yeah, you got it. You got to jump on those quick. If you don't, I mean, we have wait lists mm-hmm. for that. Yeah, I haven't been able to get one of those yet. Yeah, me either. So. Really? <laughs> right. No, uh, Deborah's, Mar- go, Deborah's going Wednesday. Yes. We're going yes, to Ray's that's, Kitchen. That's, that's, that's oh, Deborah, though. It ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to go back to um, the Jubilee Festival real quick because I think it's real important that that people know that it is such a great opportunity for you to come out and, and support the local artists. And some of them are not local. Right. Obviously, some of them travel from a long way. But it's a lot of fun. It is fun. We've got a full, and you got entertainment. We've got a full complement of entertainers that are going to be there, from you know Dylan Atwood and um, the Perrys all the way to Julie Lee's Academy of Dance. You right. Know, it's, okay. It, we've got it all. And then uh, what I'm really interested in is see how uh, JPT and oh, uh, the tailgater. Yes. Yes, and the tailgater and and. Uh, Steve from Ace Hardware, and he's part of that Steve too. Steve so. from Ace, uh, Gabe at Lightspeed, and Ben at JBT Power, and Bryant Bank is going to have their tailgater, are all going to be out in the field. They're going to have TVs. Oh, this is for that football game thing. This is, uh-huh. I, I let, apparently it's for this football game. Right. Speaking of football, okay. since you did go to Auburn, right. and you, you still, y'all still have season tickets, We right? do, yes. Yeah. Okay. So... I was wanting to know what is the most memorable game you went to, whether it was the game or whether it was the tailgate, because I have both of those stories from Tuscaloosa, no doubt. What do you have a memorable game that just pops in your mind and says, "Oh, that was well." The Auburn Georgia game, the year that you know, it was the oh. year of the pick six. It was the year of that that Auburn Georgia game. Me and my husband got engaged at that where, tailgate where the guy <laughs> where the guy tipped the ball yes, and yes. he caught it. The, the oh. Georgia guy caught tipped it, and the Auburn guy caught it and ran for a touchdown. Yep. Yes, I remember that. Y'all yes, that was one of my most memorable. Experiences. So, so did he? How did he propose? Was it on? Was it we, at the tailgate? We were at the tailgate, and all nice. my friends were there. And he was like, "Hey, I need you to come. You know, I want you to come look at something or that sort of thing." And he he kneeled down and asked me. But all my friends were there. My family was there. My friend Jen, um, who went, who, she's a big Alabama fan. She's like, "Yeah, I think I'm going to come up and ride up for the game." And I was did like, that not tip you? you? I was like, "Why would you do that?" <laughs> <laughs> that didn't tip you. <laughs> Because her friend at the time who went to um, Auburn, they were coming up for the game, and I was like, "That'd be fun." And she ran up. She goes, did I miss it? I was like, no, you didn't miss it, fool. <laughs> so are you okay. still shooting pictures at all? I do. I do. I'm about to uh, take some pictures of my friends for their Christmas cards. Oh, really? That's great. But I, and I like doing that sort of thing. So you did a little stint in real estate there. I mean, you, we were talking about it before we came on air. Yes. Um, now, your photography interest is mainly in what? 
so it was historical preservation. I did nighttime photos of Inman Park homes in Atlanta. Okay. And so I kind of drew on that. So when I moved home, I reached out to Daryl at the chamber. I was like, I'm looking for a job. You know, 2008, the height of the recession. Right. Nobody's hiring. You know, just you know, the worst time to graduate. And I tell Paige more that at Remax by the Bay. And clearly she just heard you are a real estate photographer. And she hired me. I was Jenny Stopa's assistant, but I would go okay. and take pictures of the houses. There you go. Not really good at that. I'm like, can't we, can we get them at night and like up the lights or like we need more <laughs> than one photo, but yes. All right. So when you drive around town, have you noticed some of the houses? Oh, absolutely. There's some really cool ones. Oh, I mean. for sure. Of course now, you know, this was, I graduated from there in 2011. You can't go creep outside someone's home taking photos of it at Not night. anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, they get a little, up, you know. Yeah, a little, it, a little, yeah, a little weird. But, but, you know, if anybody sees a blonde out there with, you know, camera, it's just you. It's just right? me. Yeah, it's yeah. just me. That's right. No problem. Okay, so, um, all right. You moved away. You came back. What, I mean, what's the big draw for living down here well i hated being landlocked okay i will say that you know people like you can go to the lake Mm, not the same no i didn't i am an only child so just to be with near my family and that sort of thing it was never really a question that i wouldn't move back here okay what do you like doing i mean when y'all go out where do you go eat where do you go hang out what's what's like the routine so I, my parents live at the beach, so we go to the beach a lot, okay. and we like to boat, we like to fish, we like to day drink, but on a, you know, during the week, we'll go to Dragonfly, we went to Mancy's last night to see Ben Jernigan. Yep. We recently moved to downtown Daphne, so I'm definitely a Daphne townie at this point, and I'm embracing that life. Daphne's done a lot better over. I, I mean, when I moved here in the mid '90s, Daphne was pa- you, we were passing through Daphne. When I would come home from college, I'm like, why would we go to Daphne? Yeah, yeah, to- yeah. Yep. Other than judges, I mean, right. And then you know, Moe's spent a lot of time there in college and high yep. school. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now if there's one thing you could change about living down here, what would it be? For me, because I am a social person and I love to, you know, just do all the things, probably more restaurants in downtown Daphne. I know they're working on that. More restaurants in general, mainly because we go out so much. Yeah. I eat at the same places all the time. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. We have the, we talk about that a good bit with people. I have, we have that conversation all the time. My yeah, friend, it's, there's a handful that have opened up in Daphne here recently I didn't know about, and apparently they're good. So we got to go check them out. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, me as a business owner, mm-hmm. when I'm calling, why do I need to call you? Why, what can you do for me as a business owner? How can you help me? As the chamber? Yeah. Well, uh, as, as you in the chamber, your position in the, in the chamber. chamber. Yeah. Well, you can call me for historical reference because me and Christina Helmick have been there the longest. So anytime somebody. Now you've been there 11 years, right? Or something like, like that. 11 or 12 years. Oh, okay. So the other day I was in the office and Joanna goes, tell us a story, Liz. <laughs> so I'm like, I have like rack my brains. I'm like, okay, here's a story about the chamber. So me for a historical reference, but I like to people to get involved in terms of, you know, with our committees and that's a great way to meet people. Sure. And it's a great way to network with the artists, it, especially if that's like your job, which clearly I went to art school. It is mine afford you really cool experiences working with these artists. Okay. So, you know, if you're wanting to get involved with the chamber and volunteer, the Jubilee Festival is a cool way to do that because it's not just, oh, okay, well, I've met the same people. You're going to meet really cool people. But in, like but in terms of, like, the chamber, I will answer any question, help you. And if you, like, make that connection with me because I'm like this, you know, I'll get you into business after hours if I can, you know, <laughs> like I'm going to, I'm going to figure it out. Well, here's the next thing. All right. So I've started running into people that aren't business owners. 
okay. and think the chamber is not for them. You can join as an individual all the live long day. Oh, and it's cheap too. Yes, I mean, absolutely. And then you can go to the business after hours. You can go to morning marketing. You can be a part of the committees. Be a part of the committees. Like you don't have to be a business owner to join the chamber. Is okay. there anything that you want to add or anything that you want to say that you think we missed? Jubilee Festival. Join the chamber. Join the chamber. Come to business after hours. Go to morning marketing. See if you can get a network at noon. Check every Monday. Check your email. Check your email. Yeah. No and, kidding. And if you're a business that's not a member of the chamber and you want to go to a business after hours or something like that, uh, as a guest, we can we can set that up. Either Chris can do it, Liz can do it, I can do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. And, and you can, can see come what as a guest a couple of times. All right. So here's my little pet peeve okay. on people that show up at the chamber events. Bring your business cards. Bring your business cards. Bring your business cards. Uh, there is a chiropractor that just recently joined. He was at the YP thing. Mm-hmm. No business cards. Do you, I, I, mean, don't, I don't know if it's a good idea to call him out on the podcast. Oh, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told him I was going to call him. <laughs> Did you really? And I, I would know his name if he had a business card. Oh, man. Yeah. I know, right? See what I'm doing here? And have a business card. We're there to get our name That's out. That's the end game. That's it. We're here to get our name out. We're here to, for people to know what we do. Oh, all yeah. right. And part of what we're doing is for everybody in the community. We're doing this podcast. Absolutely. All we got to do is get a hold of you. Yep. You'll take care of us. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, look, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. This, um, and again, this is, this is it. So for the business owners that want to get your voice out, want to talk about what you do and what we should as a community need to know about what you do. Come sit on the red couch. Awesome. This is fun. Thank you. Thanks, Liz. Appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, all the information about the Arts Jubilee, the Jubilee Arts Festival is down in the description. Also, on how to get in touch with the Chamber and how to become a member of the Chamber will be down in the description. How to get in touch with Chris or myself. And if you are interested in going to After Hours or something like that and want to be a guest, hit us up. We'll be happy to take you. We are both big believers in the Chamber. Absolutely. We absolutely appreciate you watching. It means a lot to us. It would mean even more if you would hit the like and subscribe. And that really helps us out and that keeps us going. So uh, appreciate your time and we'll see you in the next one.